Well, the whole year we've been studying Virginia history. It's a big focus in, in fourth grade, and we had gone through regions, colonial life, I mean, all the way up to modern day Virginia, and our test is in two weeks. And so we're really trying to review everything that we've studied, and they have to know a lot of information in this fourth grade test. So we've just been working on going through and, and remembering it and, and the importance of each thing and the order. I wanted to find a way to tie everything together in one lesson, which is not an easy thing to do when you're talking about 1492 up until 2009. So I figured why not break them into, into groups and give them each a, a particular conflict or era that we studied and have them break it down. And then we could then order them completely from first to, to most recent. And we've looked at the conflicts, we've looked at perspectives, we've looked at sequencing of events using these blocks. Think about that when you are talking about your particular era. Think about if there were two people who had a conflict, two countries who had a conflict, two groups, or two, um, were there two distinct people who saw something differently? I mean, they're going to be working with people throughout their lives, and for them to be able to have that, you know, ability to gain perspective and to see other people's viewpoints, I think is extremely valuable. I wanted them to see the connection between each time, like what led to discovery to Jamestown. Why did Europe take an interest in North America? Why did they want to start coming? And I thought it was important for them to see the relationship between the two, not that they were two separate events, but that they went together. And, and how Jamestown resulted in colonial life, and how, why the colonists started thinking about revolution and why they started thinking that maybe we want to do this on our own. So just to kind of show the natural progression of, of history and, and what, how A causes B and B causes C. And when I see them using the think blocks, I notice their motivation is very high. Um, they're very excited to get these think blocks and get their hands on them and start figuring things out and the energy is higher. Oh, I, I definitely think this is deepening their their understanding of the content because I think that they, they've memorized it and they know, but I don't think they have processed it. You know, I don't think they have processed, you know, they know the five regions of Virginia, they know the five bordering states, but I don't think they, they took the time to kind of process, you know, the timeline with the blocks and I think that really aided in, in, in their comprehension of it and understanding. They are very, very intelligent. I mean, they will ace any test throughout their education, and probably, you know, they're going to encounter this much more. Is, is they're going to do great with memorizing. You know, they're going to, they're going to really excel. But what's going to really take them to the next level is being able to think 